Since I've decided that a chemical success is okay with me, this nudge is the longest you'll have to wait. So I do apologize for how boring this is, but the only way to straight ghost to the mission without using an invisible po visibility potion involves roughly a 10 hour wait inside Angel Watch. And prior to the 10 hour wait, you have to line up some objects just so to direct the gradual movement of the AI in question. So if you mess up, you won't know you messed up for five to ten hours and then you'd have to reload and try it all over again. That just didn't sound like something I wanted to do. I'll take a chemical success. It's still a success. Keep on pushing her. <coughs> you see how far we've come, though. About halfway across the room already. I say already, I don't actually know how long it's been. I feel bad for my intellectual property professor. That's the class I normally have in the afternoon on Thursdays and Fridays. I got an email from him this morning that he has the flu and class is canceled. So you don't want to rejoice in someone else's misery. You know, you don't want to act happy that somebody has the flu, but no class on a day when I only had one class, which means I have the entire day off. Oh, hell yes. We're almost good with her now. Just a little bit farther. <coughs> One thing you do have to be careful of, though. You'll notice, you might have noticed anyway, that she has gradually rotated some in addition to just drifting. If you put them right up against a wall or a piece of furniture or any other solid texture, their idle animations will sort of nudge them the same way, and they'll eventually rotate around, so. We can cope with it with the woman in red, but I want to make sure the woman in green doesn't do it, so I'm going to leave her sort of in the center of this corner and just use the pillar as hardcover once I push her far enough. If she turns around, she can make trouble. The woman in red, I'm just going to stick in the northeast corner. And even if she turns around, I can still avoid her by sticking to the outer walls of the room. <coughs> oh, I'm just going to put her getting right so on the next line. It'll be a good place to leave her. So we're close, we're close. <laughs> okay, I think that should be good. So, stick to the outer edge of the room, go ahead and move slowly, just easier that Isn't way. There? Grab the woman in red's purse. <laughs> Guess it was nothing. Yes? 
What, what is it? Okay, I need to... I, I do think I put her far enough forward. I just need to actually move a little faster. Yes. Is someone there? Anyone get, there? Get behind hardcover. Oh well. But a breeze and nothing, nothing more. Okay. So her purse is our 15th of 24 pickpockets. It brings our loot total to 1833. And I just need to shove her into that corner so I can get out the window. <coughs> What's that? Speak! If I see one rat, I will just scream. and nothing more. I need to stick her all the way in the corner either. She may... Oh, the air is getting so filthy lately. Who's there? Is someone back there? I guess it was nothing. I may already be able to get past what her. What was Let's that? See. What the devil is going on? Okay, no. Gotta push her farther. What was that? Which is fine. If I see one rat, I will just scream. Things are simply not what they were in my father's day. He would never have seen such insolence, such disrespect. What's that? Speak! Good. I had not wanted to be disturbed. Okay, let's try that. Hmm, I thought I saw something. Yes, is that you, sweetie? Okay, maybe if I move a little faster, this will work. What's that? Guards! Guard! Okay, nope. Gotta push her even farther. <sighs> oh, the air is getting so filthy lately. What's that? Speak! If I see one rat, I will just scream. But I know it's close. Is someone there? Guards! There's a thief! Sure. One more nudge. That ought, that really ought to do Strange. It. Saw something there for a moment. Guess it was nothing. Good. We're clear. That's how you handle Lady Louisa's suite. Nudging. Bust supreme, but keeps your normal ghost intact, which is really the best you can hope for in this mission. <sighs> Slip in behind the drunk. No problem there. <sighs> oh. Garrett, Garrett, Garrett. He has a lot of trouble mantling off ladders. We're gonna have to deal with that a lot once we get inside Angel Watch, unfortunately. And for this one, at least. Well, I don't wanna. So, that's the castle of the future. I'll take my tenement any day of the week. So, we have arrived at Angel Watch. Wasn't so tough. 
Maybe tower security isn't as tight as I thought. So no one can hear that drop, but while you're moving around in these tunnels, you do want to be as quiet as you can. That ticked off our objective to infiltrate Angel Watch. So that's done, which is good. I'm going to tackle the ground level first. I will go ahead and read this. Brethren, the guard on the office door shall be changed upon every three hours, though I trust that our guests shall not be curious enough to attempt entrance. For further precaution, however, Father Karras hath entrusted me with the sole key. Most of the alarms and watchers that protect the tower hath also been disabled to prevent our guests from causing any mishaps. While I expect the nobility to mind their manners, remain thou ever vigilant, friend Vilnia. One thing, it's just an aesthetic thing, but I'm going to try to listen to the recordings in order so that the, the messages all make a little bit more sense. So I'm gonna just going to speed through the second floor and get down to the first floor to start off. But I'll clear it on my way back up. Just wait until you hear that mechanist turn around. What's that there? <clears throat> Once that's done. What noise then? It's softly called. I imagine there's a way past him without first alerts, but we have to go through here a lot. Well, let me I shouldn't get so impatient. Let me see if I can creep through here and avoid a first alert. Okay. Yeah, if you creep by, you can avoid a first alert from the priest. Which is good. Head in here, just get to either corner. And you're essentially safe. What's that there? Don't, don't try to leave the corner too soon. I thought that she walked a loop, but obviously she turns around. The Iron Beast and the Mechanist are gonna head the same way, which is our cue to bust up here, get on this ladder, come down toward the first floor. Now. The way to get out of here without alerting anyone. They hear you if you land on the top beam. If you land on the second one, they don't hear anything. As you can see. Now you need to get across to the other one and just run down to the ground. So hit this. Message number one of six. Oh. My good guest, welcome to Angel Watch. I have gathered you here, citizens of exceptional greeting, for a fine and festive evening. The builder's work never ceases. Thus, I am not able to attend in person, but I am present in heart and voice. As you can plainly hear, Franvinia will be your host in my absence. Now, our evening together begins. So, Karras doesn't even show up for his own party. So, the objective to spy on Karras to learn why he's throwing the party is d now irrelevant. Instead, we will activate all the voice machines to hear Karras's messages. And here, if you want to perfect thief the mission, the only way to do it is to use an invisibility potion. Someone has managed to get to the front doors from the outside 
and get nudge the guard and get at those statues, that's great, but you have to break open the doors with your sword, which is property damage, and bust the ghost anyway. So the only way to do it is with an invisibility potion. So just get in this niche, drink it, run out behind him, get the two statues, and run back before it runs out. Ready, set, go. He'll first alert from the noise, but... Who's there? What noise does make? The front doors are locked. Looks like Karis wants a captive audience. So if you're not interested in those statues, you can skip that and not use a potion. But they bring our total to 1863, which is good. Let's get to this next niche. And he'll first alert in this hallway too. I haven't figured out a way to avoid that. For missions this big and complicated, When I know from the outset that they're impossible to supreme, it becomes very difficult for me to care much. Maybe that's bad, but anyway, head back up to the second floor. There's nothing left on the first floor. I don't like to use the elevator because for any given <sighs> elevator stop, there's a chance that you'll run smack into a patroller. Whereas here, yeah, you know, we can control our exit. I obviously made a bad move there. I think he's gonna pass right in front of us. And I'll start by just following him. Now I'm gonna wait here until I see where the mechanist is. She's right there. Good, I'll follow her out. Now I'm going to tackle the chapel. I'm going to leave the recording for now, but because like I said, I want to listen to them in order. That's really just an aesthetic preference. There's no reason for it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to I'm just taking a pause to take a drink. I apologize. Much better. And with that accomplished, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Hello. There, friend. Someone there. It's nice. Actually, maybe I should come in from behind. So I don't have to mess with his first alerts. Does mean I have to worry about the Iron Beast, but... I should be able to time it so he's turned around. I want his key. That's the first thing I'm going after. Because it unlocks some things I want. But he'll turn around and get through here fast enough. I should be able to creep up, grab the key, and get to the side room. Only a first alert, don't care. So that was the 16th of 24 pickpockets. The key doesn't open this, I don't think. No. We'll have to pick this open. As long as no one's heard you or is searching for you, this is a safe spot. Grab the two gold goblets. They bring our total to 1913. Also a scouting orb if you want it. That's the only good the key does, so I'll return it now. <laughs> this
this is very near as close as we can get without anyone alerting. So let's drop that there. Let's grab his two candlesticks. <coughs> Bring our total to 2013. slip into this area and no one no one patrols these barracks either which is good the only chest I'm interested in in here is this one another one we have to pick open it's got a pair of coins in it bring our total to 2033 and if you roll back here there's another cabinet you'll have to pick open Inside here, two more goblets and two bottles of wine, which bring our total up to 2183. I didn't want a crate. Then head into this room. Open the chest for another statue, brings the total to 2198. And let's read this. Friend Vilnia, note thee well the following. Tis the final listing of the voice machines. Make it thy task to be sure the servants have them placed and working before the arrival of tonight's guests. Voice Machine 1, Central Concourse. Voice Machine 2, Library. Voice Machine 3, Chapel. Voice Machine 4, Dining Room. Voice Machine 5, Gallery. Voice Machine, voice machine 6, Ballroom. Further, forget not the machine for our special guest. Ooh, what could that mean? It's pretty obvious, but still, I, I I rather liked it the first time I played this mission, just the same. So that's it for this floor. Well, the what? That's the chapel. So that's the third recording. So I'll be back to listen to it. <coughs> Let's wait for her to leave this hallway and get back into the ladder system, and we'll head up to the third floor. I guess it, I shouldn't call it the ladder system, it's the vent system, but we can get to almost all the floors of the tower back here. The hard part, so you'll be doing a lot of quick saving, is convincing Garrett to jump off the ladder and mantle. And otherwise be quiet. So here we arrive on the third floor. The fifth recording is here on the third floor, so we'll leave that for the time being. What shadow passed me? Other than that, there's really just one little bit of loot to worry about. <clears throat> the did so unnatural trance that, we feared that area over there, with the turning gears, is the gallery, where the fifth recording is. But the only thing of interest here on the third floor is that chest. She Strange. I saw something there for a moment. She's going to first alert. But as long as you move pretty slowly and stick to the outer walls, <laughs> you can keep your ghost nice and intact. <laughs> Gotta creep up on this and pick it <laughs> open. There's a lot of gold in that chest. 120 brings our total to 2318. That's it for the third floor for now. So just get back out the way we came in and get back to the ladders. What 
Harris sake, is there someone there? Oh, oops. I got confused about which floor I was on, sorry. If someone is there, then show thyself. I'll take that first hmm. alert. Well, oh, no, no, I won't. It's completely unnecessary. I can just wait for him to pass by here. Get back in here. Same thing again. Hope he can <laughs> convince Garrett to quietly mantle. And before I loot the fourth floor, I'm just gonna do one thing real quick. I discovered that this woman. <sighs> There's a woman who only spawns, I think. Well. Maybe I'm wrong about her. In my practice run, there's a woman who kind of roams over the entire tower and has a purse we need. She didn't appear in my practice run until I came up through the ladder and then suddenly she was in this kitchen and started her big patrol. So, well, she's not here now. Maybe she is wandering after all. But I think this is a good place to wait for her, so... through here. Yep, here she comes. Good. I'm gonna wait right here and grab her purse. Okay. I don't know why she paused. <coughs> but no matter. Got the purse. That is our 17th, yes, 17th of 24 pickpockets. Now I don't have to worry about tracking her down anymore, which is nice. Brings our total to 2418. Gonna take care of another little annoyance right quick. I do a real save? Yeah, but I'll do another one. I can't conceive the world and its workings are unimaginable. I'm the vapor in the builder's steam. He hath breathed life into the world, and its vastness is unreachable. Praise be to him. We want to get over to the main stairway. I guess before I do that, I'll clear this end. There are a few little goodies over here. Yeah, this far room is empty. This one has copper coins in the chest, which we have to pick open. Bring our total to 24.23. And then this room has a purse on the table. Brings the total to 24.43. Oh, I didn't move back quite far enough. It's like, I'm sure that's a shadow. But she's going to first alert anyway, so we'll just wait on her. <coughs> Once 
she passes. Looks like this area is clear. So get into this room. As long as no one's searching for you, no one comes in here. This is the only chest we're interested in. It's got coins in it. Bring our total to 2468. This one has a healing potion if you want it. I don't. <clears throat> what dragonfly flits about? If I wait just a little bit, I can avoid that alert. Who's there? I wondered why he didn't first alert when I opened the door right next to him. Now, before we move any further, let's tackle the library. So, to get to the voice machine, <coughs> without tripping any alerts, we just need to pop down here. Noises. Someone should look into that. There's no good way to avoid that, unfortunately. <coughs> Because you can't, you can't half draw or you won't hit it, but this is recording too. So let's have a listen. Message number two of six. Greetings again, guest. I pray your spirits do not suffer from my absence. I present to each a gift. The most wondrous yet of my innovations. A living worker <coughs> suited to all household tasks, ready always to perform your bidding. I call them the servants. The servant knows not how to laid or gossip. The servant knows only how to tirelessly perform <coughs> thy will, be it cooking, cleaning, or gardening. Please. Accept them with my gratitude. But the tour continues. Pray to follow Vilnia once again. So with that done, I'm gonna <coughs> take a little trip back down to the chapel to listen to the third recording. What I like to do here is just jump across mantle onto this railing, slide down, and use this as hardcover. Do not let yourself be fooled again. If I see one rat, I will just scream. See? Uh, first alerts that don't play any sound are all over this mission. Those are very frustrating for a would-be supreme ghoster. So, from here, let's just do a save and watch the hallway. Angel Watch really isn't that bad, except for the major trouble spots, of which there are two left. You'll, you'll know them when we get there. So I need to get back to the vent, so... This is a great spot to hide, because he's going to turn around at the end of this hallway. I think, anyway. Let me see if... Who's there? Yes, I thought so. So I need to wait for him to pass back. Mm -hmm. 
So she keeps going a good ways past our vent, so we can just follow her until we get there. Its workings are unimaginable. I'm the vapor in the builder's steam. He hath breathed life into the world, and its vastness is unreachable. Praise be to him. So with this, let's get back down to the second floor. Just be careful on your dismount, because it's going to be noisy. You need to make sure nobody upstairs hears it. These are thankfully silent rooms. If there's a if there's a shut door between you and all the AIs, then they won't hear it, which is nice. Now, all we need to do back down here is pop over and listen to message number three. It's good to know where she is, though. She's headed away. Perfect. Did thou see us not? Rats would be wise to scurry elsewhere. So you want to hit play, that shadow move, get back across to the other niche, and listen there. Message number three of six. Paris steel miners. For it was nothing after all. Lord the lady, behold the Rats builder's would be wise to scurry chapel. elsewhere. It is here we reflect upon the builder's great job. The service I am giving you are examples of our striving towards his ideas. The souls behind the masks were lost and unproductive. Now they are models of efficiency. Alas, if only I could be there to share with thee the wonder of this moment. <coughs> but I digress. On with the tour. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. <clears throat> yeah, first alerts, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... It would be so frustrating to care in this mission, so... I basically decided not to. Come on, Garrett. Now here we do need to be quiet, because the fourth floor people can certainly hear us. So now we're back up here. We'll have to go back down to the third floor to listen to the fifth recording. But first, we want to hear the fourth, which is up on the fifth floor. Before we do that, though, there are a couple of things left to do here on the fourth. Where's the other dude? He's coming this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know if I have time to at least follow him to the middle or not. I think I do. But Okay, I can get here. That's good. I doubt I can get around this corner. There. What dragon Didst thou see it too? About. Well, I can do it without with only first alerts. But it's kind of cutting it close. I don't like it. I'm going to wait for her to pass by, and then go. We'll wait for both of them to pass. Then we should be nice and clear for a while. A couple of things. We're approaching the stairway, 
It's a pretty good way to get around, except sometimes it's blocked because the, one of the little robots tends to get stuck. And did falter and take flight till he that his caris did raise up against them, that we so, and next. Always be alert to patrollers. Plenty of people use the stairs. That's the other reason I don't like them. That's the point, Margaret. Now they will be happy. To serve the nobility is the highest privilege in life, of course. But slavery is just so distasteful. No, 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 not slaves, Margaret. Servants. You heard Mr. Karras. But why argue semantics? Before this, they were raving lunatics. Have you ever seen a lunatic prepare a stew? Or sweep a stable? <laughs> Not a pretty sight. One can be sure of that. <laughs> oh, Christopher, you're such a card. Oh, Karis did say the servants could garden. I wonder if they can plant azaleas or roses. We could use them to trim the lilac bushes as well. You see, my dear, the servants can truly make you happy. Could there be a more noble purpose in life? Oh, Christopher, stop. <laughs> So listen to that rather stupid conversation. I hate both of them. The woman will leave, just hide here and grab her purse when she passes by. Brings our total to 2488. If memory serves, that's the 18th someone there. of 24 pickpockets. You can't open his door without a first alert, but grab his purse. Brings the total to 2498. And is the 19th of 24 pickpockets. So with that, I'm, I'm going to use the stairs to get to the fifth floor. After all my talk of not liking the stairs. What noise there that softly calls? Oops. I stayed squatted too long, too long. Let's get up these stairs now. Try and get to that shadow before homeboy pops out and let's do another save so a lot of action on the fifth floor we can't get into Karis's office yet we'll have to hit the sixth floor first There's plenty we can do. Let's move in here. So there are good shadows, which is nice, but... You're gonna get a first alert here. Speak if thou didst see oh, something, no, friend. That's Karis's office with the guard right in front of it. That is one of our trouble spots. When you get to this statue, just hit its eye. That is the sixth of seven secrets. There's no way to reclose that, and there's actually not anything in there I'm interested in. But it is what it is. If you open this door. Who made that noise? Again, I'm going to reload and avoid that particular alert because it's unnecessary. But if you want to raid the armory, the key to the Carlisle armory is in that room with that very nervous fellow. I'm going to wait in the shadows here because the key I need to open those doors is on its way. It's on this guy. Is someone there? Oh. I forgot about the wanderer. So I guess let's let's wait here for everybody to get clear. Hmm, strange. What she noticed was the open secret door. <coughs> he should come out any second now. <coughs> no mechanist would be so careless. So we've got the key to these rooms, which we're going to use. 
I'll do this one first. Although there's nothing in here except a mechanist mace, so never mind. Let's hit this one. Now! This is a rather notorious spot. There's nothing in here but a healing potion, I think. Yeah, so I don't need that. Let me do a real save before I mess around with this. The key doesn't open this either, I don't think. No. So we'll have to pick this open. But be careful. Once you read that, something's gonna happen. But I'll do a real save. I will read it. The new scripture of the Master Builder, draft, page 35. The Builder smiled on the things Karis had done. Out of devotion, he had invented many machines, and these machines now served him well. He had transformed wretched humans into agents of the Builder's will, controlled directly by the influence of Karis's machines. These were called servants, and they had been embraced by those in the city, who considered themselves superior because of the wealth of their coffers instead of their spirits. These same people had beamed at Karis with one face, but with another face smirked amongst each other and shared affronts. For this, Karis had once detested them, but he saw now their role in the Builder's plan. In all 